In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve radical inequalities. Now, radical inequalities and solving them doesn't have to be scary. It's a lot like the solving that you've done with other uh, equations and inequalities. There's just one little thing that we need to be aware of, and that is taking into account what's going on underneath the root. And remember, there's some, some numbers that we can't have underneath that square root. Negatives, right? So we have to figure out, mm hmm, are, do we have any negatives? Could this be negative? And we have to exclude those from our solution. Otherwise, it's going to be very similar to what you've done before. So let's dig right in. Right here, first one. So we want to isolate, get that uh, x by itself. So we start by adding the 5 to both sides. So plus 5, plus 5. Then what's left over here, bring it down. 2 times the square root of x. Bring this down. Is greater than or equal to 8. Now, be on the lookout for, remember, if we multiply or divide by a negative on both sides of the inequality, we have to flip the inequality symbol. Don't forget about that. In this case, we don't have to uh, flip it because this is a positive 2 and it's times that. So we're going to divide by 2, both sides, like so. We're left with the square root of x is greater than or equal to 4. Then, how do we get rid of a square root? Well, that's the opposite, is squaring it. So we're going to square both sides. We're going to square there. And so we're left with just x right here because the square root and squared those undo each other so it's just x and then greater than or equal to and finally 4 squared is 16 now let's just double check for a sec here under the square root is just x and if x is greater than or equal to 16 are we okay with all those numbers yeah all the numbers bigger than 16 are positive so they're fine okay all right let's take a look at this next one here so for this one we've got a cube root all right so it's four times the cube root of x plus one so in this case we've got to get rid of that times four first so divide by four both sides then bring down what's left so we've got the cube root of x plus one and then positive 4, so no worries on the inequality symbol. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, now we have to get rid of that cube root. So we're going to take uh, and take it to the third power on both sides. So we have to the third, and then 6 to the third, and then. Uh, these things undo each other, right? So we have uh, x plus 1, like so. And then, again, no change in the inequality. There's no negative stuff going on there. And then, finally, we have 6 to the third power, which is 216. Okay? Then, we got to get the x by itself. So minus 1, minus 1, and we're left with just x less than and then 216 minus 1 would be 215 now we gotta be careful because again remember ooh, this some negative stuff is gonna come into play here but are we okay with that well when we take a cube root remember any number can be we can take the cube root of anything positive or negative so we have no worries there and we're good to go x is less than 215. All right, let's go up here and see what we can do with this next one. All right, so we've got 3 times the square root of x minus 2 is less than or equal to 15. First step, get rid of that times 3 by dividing by 3 on both sides of our inequality, like so. Bring down what we've got. So we've got the square root of x minus 2, and then less than or equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay, now get rid of the square root. Do the opposite. So we're going to square both sides of our inequality. So we square both sides. 
then we've got the square root of x minus 2 squared those cancel we're left with just x minus 2 and then less than or equal to 5 squared would be 25 alright almost there x minus 2 gotta get rid of the minus 2 so we add 2 to both sides that gives us x is less than or equal to 27 now hold on just a moment here let's see this is going to be there's negative stuff involved there so that's a hint to say whoa wait a minute we gotta be careful here uh, we gotta make sure that this thing under the square root stays positive the smallest it can possibly be would be zero so what we need to do is solve under here we gotta set up another inequality that's gonna go with this one and it is going to be just making sure that thing under the square root is positive so x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 we add 2 to both sides like so and then we have x is greater than or equal to 2 okay so this is important as well x has to be greater than or equal to 2 to make sure that this number under here does not get to be less than 0 so we need both of these conditions to be true it's going to be and and so we can tie that together in a compound inequality and so let's put the 2 on this side the 27 on this side this x part stays the same right there and then this is going to flip around because we put the 2 over here so we have that so x is or excuse me 2 is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 27 Okay, so that means we've got to be greater than 2 and less than or equal to 27. All right, let's take a look at this last one. For this one, we have, again, a number multiplied out front. We've got a cube root, so we're not going to have to worry about negative stuff in there. And so let's go ahead and get rid of that negative 6. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 6. Ooh, over here, those are gone. We have the cube root of x plus 4. And then on this, oh, wait a minute. We divided by negative 6 on both sides, so we have to remember to flip the inequality. Don't miss that part. That's probably one of the most common mistakes I see students make. Then 12 divided by negative 6 would be negative 2. All right. Then to get rid of that cube root we cube both sides like so we're cubing this whole thing we gotta put parentheses there otherwise that negative part doesn't get cubed although it doesn't matter in this case just be careful then these two those cancel we're left with x plus 4 is greater than and then negative 2 cubed would be negative 2 times negative 2 would be 4 times negative 2 would be negative 8 almost there minus 4 minus 4 and finally we're left with x is greater than negative 4 or negative oh negative 4 negative 12 yikes all right so x is greater than negative 12 don't forget we can check these just grab something that's true in the inequality and plug it back in uh, to see if it works so in this case greater than negative 12 how about negative 11 what do we get so negative 11 plus 4 would give us what uh, negative 5 the cube root of that it's gonna be your ugly fraction or ugly decimal excuse me and then we multiply that by negative 6 a negative times a negative is positive but it's gonna be a small number and so I think we're looking pretty good there. We could actually work that out with the decimals if you wanted to, to check. Solving radical inequalities, just like solving radical equations, except we have to remember a couple things. One, don't forget the rules in terms of solving inequalities. If we multiply or divide by a negative on both sides, 
then we have to flip that inequality symbol. Also, make sure that you pay close attention to the radical part. If it's an even root, like a square root, a fourth root, a sixth root, we have to make sure that the value under that root does not get into the negatives. And so if that's the case, like in this one, we have to do another inequality keeping that thing under the root greater than or equal to zero. And then we tie those together and boom, we've got it. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.